viewer here and today we're going to be looking at the Typhog Framework House Construction Set. So before we get started, I'd like to thank the people over at Typhog for saying this to me to review. It looks really awesome. So I have never heard of Typhog before. They are um, a German-based company and when I saw this, they had said, you know, do you want anything over here at their website? Um, I saw these and I was like, wow, that is so cool because we're going to be able to make our own um, like brick and mortar buildings and things like that. They had a bunch of different sets. They had some really extravagant, huge sets with lots and lots of pieces. There were some that were very small, little starter sets. Um, and then there was this one, which I found to be a bit of a medium-like set. This one has 200 pieces and it just seemed perfect because, I mean, look at that house. It looks so awesome. And I'm just really, really excited to do this. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the box. So right here it says that we're going to be able to build and play with real bricks. This set comes with over 200 pieces. It includes instructions for two models. It's for ages 6 and up. It also comes with water soluble mortar, meaning that our cement can dissolve in water so that we can do this again and again. And it's made out of 100% natural material. So here's what the back of the box looks like. So let's go ahead and open it up. All right, so here's what we have in the box. Now, these aren't like named in the instructions, so I don't really know what these pieces are called, like what they would call them. Um, but I'll try to do my best. This piece right here is this big, like brown, like kind of like a stiff board um, that we're gonna use for the base. And we have two smaller pieces, like that, that are going to be used for the roof. We have some more roof pieces, two that are just like little wooden triangles. And then we have these two, which are wooden triangles, but they are, have like holes cut out. Next, we have our bricks. So, um, these are a big bowl of these bricks. These are the big bricks that kind of look like that. There's a whole bunch of them in here. We also have a bowl of these little like half bricks. I have a bowl here with some kind of like miscellaneous pieces. We have these that are like the shingles, but they're like triangular. Um, we have two bricks that look like this, like a little hole in them. And then we also have these two, which are kind of oddly shaped, and that's what we have in here. Next we have our shingles, and I do also have a little bowl here of the shingles that have broken up a little bit, just in case I need these ones, we can patch those up. We also have our doors and window pieces. We have our cement-like mix that I've placed in this bowl um, just because some of the powder is coming off and I don't want it to get on my table. Then we also have a little blue bowl and our little like scraping tool. And the last thing that we have in our box is the instructions. So you can see there are two different houses here that we can build. Shows you everything that comes inside the box. Again, there's no names, they're just numbered. So you can see like the numbers here. And then when you open it up, this is what the instructions look like. And you just see like the numbers. So like it has like a 26 and then that number. So there will be 26 of these all together on that step. So that's how that works. So this is everything we have in the box. So let's go ahead and get started. So we first need to decide what kind of house we want. So on page four, it has the instructions to build this house right there. Um, and if you start on page nine, it will give you the instructions to build this one. So we need to decide if we want to build this house or this house. And I think I like this one better. I don't know why, I just really like that one. So we're gonna start on page eight if we're making that house. All right, so before we get started, we are going to need to get a ruler. And we're gonna start on this side and we're gonna measure to 45 millimeters and mark that off. 
All right, so to get started, um, what I've done is I've just put a little marker here at 45 millimeters. I just got my little ruler out and found that spot right there, marked it off so we know where to start. Now we're gonna need to mix some cement. Let's go ahead and open this up. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a one tablespoon measuring scoop. And we're gonna get six level scoops of our cement. Place it into our bowl. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add two tablespoons of water. Now we're gonna mix it up. Mix it until it's nice and smooth. So it seems a little bit runny, so I'm gonna add just a little bit more of our powder. All right, you guys, so now it's time for the fun part. Um, and again, if you guys run out of your mix, you're just gonna make that same six and two combination with powder and water. So <laughs> I've never done this before, but let's see how it goes. So I'm gonna get one of my bricks. And I'm not sure if I just should just like lay out the cement or just add some to the bottom of the bricks. But I think I'm just gonna add it to the bottom of the bricks. Okay. And then, let's see, let's add some to the side of a brick, like that. And then place it down. Just like that. And we're just going to keep going until we have some bricks going along here. Let's see, I think, um, hmm, let's see, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, six bricks going this way real quick. So I'm not sure if we're supposed to do this after it's dry or what, but I think maybe now um, you can get an old toothbrush. I use this one for lots of cleaning and stuff like that. Um, so not, not one that you're going to brush your teeth with. Um, dip it in some water. Make sure it's not too wet. But then what we're going to do is we're just going to lightly scrub around our bricks. I think mine's too wet. Um, just to kind of get... Some of that extra cement off. And then you can take a cloth or like a um, paper towel. Just gently rub it. Make sure you get all that off. And we'll do that again after it's done just to make sure that everything's nice and smoothed out. I think that looks pretty good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do four going this way, like that. Now I'm going to place two going this direction. Now let's put one going this direction. Alright, so now we have our door pieces, so here it is. What we're going to do is we're going to place this door in here. Kind of squeeze it under the plastic there and attach it to that peg so that it's on both pegs. And see that the bottom here is flat. So what we're going to do is we're going to get some of our cement mix here. Add some to the bottom. And I want to be careful not to cover up that hole there because I might make it stuck. I don't know. Go around to the other side. Okay, and then we're just going to line it up. Fit it in right there. Now we need one of these little half bricks. Then add two going this way. And then we're going to finish off by doing four of them going this way. All 
right, you guys, so I've basically showed you how to make the pieces fit together. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and speed it up as I build the rest of this, and then I will come back when it's time to do the roof, and we will talk about it. So to make this a little bit easier so you guys can see it a little bit better, I've placed it on my turntable. That way I can turn it and you guys can see what's going on here because I know that angle might not have been very good. So we're going to keep building and I'm just going to turn it this way so that you guys can see what I'm doing. you guys so here's what it looks like so far we're done with the actual building itself um, I actually didn't need to use any extra um, cement stuff but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my finger here and I'm gonna start kind of wiping between these cracks really smooth line just to fill them out make it a little bit more sturdy So now what we're going to do is we're going to get our little wood pieces here and we're going to get one of these and we're going to place this on top. So we're going to need to add some of that like cement on here. Then we're just going to place it down on the square wood piece. And we're going to do the same thing for the other one. All 
Alright, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a strip of our cement to the bottom of our triangle here. And then place it on the side of the house like this. Now let's do the same thing for the other side. Alright, so now we need to measure out our roof piece. So first we're going to mark 27 millimeters. Then do that again. And again. And this last one should be about 24. And we're going to do that for the other side as well. And then we're going to make some straight lines. And we're going to do that for both pieces. So now what we're going to do is we are going to cover the 24 millimeter section with our cement. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add on our little pieces like this. All right, you guys, so that took me a while. I'm just gonna do the same thing for the other piece of board to make the other side of the roof. All right, so now what we're gonna need to do is attach the roof to our building. So we're gonna add some cement to the sides of these triangles. And then we're just gonna add some cement to the top of this, right here on the bricks. Now let's try attaching the roof. All right, so you can see I've got the roof on. This side wants to slip because it's still not completely dry, but I took some sprinkles and I've got them wedged up in there. Um, so I was trying to find something like just about the right size to kind of keep it straight where I wanted it. So I've got those sprinkles sitting there for now. Um, so yeah, next we're gonna just take these little triangle pieces and place them here on top. All 
All right, so now what we're gonna do is we are going to add on our chimney. All right, you guys, so here it is. It's all finished now. And I let it dry overnight, and it looks really, really good. Here's the side of the house. Here's the back of the house. And here's the other side. And I really like that you can open the door. So that is really cool. As well as the windows. All right, you guys, so what did you think of our Typhoc Frame Workhouse Brick Construction Kit? I thought this kit was really awesome. I really liked it. Our house looks absolutely gorgeous. And of course, if you want to do this over and over again, all you need to do is dissolve that like cement material in some water and start all over. I think it came out really nice. It's very, very sturdy. It's also very heavy. And it just looks really cool, like a real little brick house. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. And if you guys like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and stay tuned for more Typhoc videos. Did you find Waldo in that video? If so, leave a comment where he was hiding at. Also, put hashtag notification squad in the comments if you hit that subscribe button and that little bell beside it. And for those of you who are new to the channel, we do something called a video special that we do at the beginning of each month. Leave a comment with hashtag shout out and you might be picked to have your comment read out loud during that video. We also do a giveaway for a $20 gift card and to be entered to win, just send in some fan mail to this address right here on the screen. And for a full list of giveaway rules, go to our new website at thetoyreviewervideos.com where you can see giveaways, watch videos, print coloring book pages, and shop for merch. So here are some other videos you guys might like, and you can also find us on social media. So as always, thanks for watching.